Hello everyone, in today's video, we will understand the concept of equation of value. Before understanding this concept, we need to understand the concept of discounting and compounding. For this, I am taking one example. For example, there is a debt of rupees 100 which is due in one year. That is when t is equals to 1, we need to make a payment of rupees 100 loan amount. Due to some reason, we are unable to make this payment on the due date that is when t is equals to 1. Later on, we make the payment after 1 year that is when t is equals to 2. Would it be possible to make a payment of rupees 100 when there is time value of money. For example, the time value of money is 100 I percent per period or in our example, it is I percent per year. So, would it be possible to make a payment of rupees 100 after one year? That is after one year of the due date. No, it would not be possible to make a payment of rupees 100. Rather, we have to make a payment of more than rupees 100 and the payment will be of rupees 100 plus the interest foregone. So, the interest foregone is at the rate of I percent for one period or for one year. So, the total amount that we need to make, uh, the total payment that we have to make will be of rupees 100 into the interest component foregone for one year. So, 1 plus i raised to the power 1. Now, if I am not ready to make the payment when t is 1 that is on the due date, rather I want to make the payment now that is t is equals to 0. In this situation, we would not be ready to pay make a payment of rupees 100 rather the worth of that rupees 100 will be less today and the value that we have to pay today will be 1 plus i raised to the power minus 1. So, we will make a payment of rupees 100 when t is 1 but if we are making a payment at different points of time it will not be the same value that we have to pay. It will be a different value because there is a time value of money or there is a worth of money at the rate of I percent per period. So, the time value of concept says that the value of money or the money at different points of time cannot be added cannot be subtracted or cannot be compared. So, if we want to compare two values which are at different points of time, we need to bring them at one point of time. So, what is the concept? Okay, in this case when we bring the money forward and when we bring the money backward. So, when we bring the money backward, this concept is known as the concept of discounting and when we bring the money forward. This concept is known as the concept of compounding. Now, in this case, this factor that is 1 plus i raised to the power positive n. This factor is known as compound factor. And in case of discounting, this 1 plus i raised to the power minus 1 or minus n is known as the discount factor. So, this is the concept of discounting and compounding. Now, let's understand the concept of equation of value. Equation of value basically provides us an equation which states that value of one set of obligation will be equals to the value of another set of obligation.
but it will be possible only if we are comparing both these values at or if we are bringing these two values at one point of time so that point of time is known as the comparison date or also known as the focal date so at the focal date the value of one set of obligation will be equals to the value of another set of obligation when the interest is compounding uh, compounded so uh what do you mean by this one set of obligation will be equals to the another set of obligation for example we have a loan of rupees 100 which is due in 5 years in place of that loan i would like to make a payment of that loan in the form of two installments one today and another after 6 years so here the two sets of obligation in this example will be one set of obligation will be value of loan and another set of obligation will be the value of payments and these can be equated if you bring those values at one point of time or if you compare these values at a focal date or the comparison date so to understand this concept in more detail i have one question this is a question and in this question we have a debt of rupees 2000 which is due in 3 years and rupees 3000 which is due in 7 years is to be repaid by a single payment of rupees 1000 now and two equal payments which are due one year from now and four years from now if the interest rate is 6% compounded annually, how much are each of the equal payments? So in this case, we have two sets of obligation that is we have loan of rupees 2000 which is due in 3 years and we have loan of rupees 3000 which is due in 7 years. So this is one set of obligation which is the loan and this this set of obligation is to be discharged in the form of different payments and the payments are 1000 which is paid now two equal installments which are due one year from now and four year from now so now to solve this problem and to find out the equal payments we can show this problem on a timeline now I can show this problem on a timeline like this. We have this timeline. On this timeline there is loan amount which is due in 3 years of rupees 2000. So when T is 3 we have a loan amount of rupees 2000. And when T is 7 we have another loan of rupees 3000. Now, these are the one set of obligation that is the loan amount. Now, this loan is to be discharged in the form of two, uh, in the form of three installments. One installment is of rupees 1000. Now, that is when T is equals to 0, we need to make a payment of rupees 1000. Another payment is of rupees X. Let's the equal payments be of rupees X. So one payment is due one year from now. So when T is 1, we need to make a payment of rupees X. And when T is 4, we need to make a payment of rupees X. So we need to find out the value of X when the time value of money is there. That is when interest rate is 6% per annum compounded annually. So th there is annual compounding. So interest rate per period will also be 6%. So I will be 6% in our case. Now let's see how to solve this problem to get the value of X. Here. Now we need to bring all these values. We cannot compare these values at these because these are at different points of time. So to compare these values that is value of loan with the value of payment we need to bring these values at a single point in time so 
how to get it in a single point in time i am choosing 1 that is t is equals to 4 as the focal date so focal date in this case is t is equals to 4 when t is 4 the focal date is this we need to bring all these values at this comparison date or the focal date to compare or to use the equation of value so 1000 okay in this case one more thing i have circled 2000 and 3000 because this is one set of obligation which is the loan and another set of obligation is payments so i have kept them as it is so just to segregate the one set from the another set of obligation i have circled the loan amount and i have kept the uh, payments figure as it is now i have chosen the focal date as 4 so we need to bring all these values at a at this comparison date so we need to bring 1000 at this date we need to bring x at this point we need to bring 3 at this point and we need to bring this 3000 at this point so how to get this this 1000 will be what this 1000 after 4 years will not remain 1000 rather as it will earn interest at the rate of 6% per annum so it will be more than 1000 when it is earning interest at the rate of 6% for 4 years that is after 4 years it will be 1000 into 1.06 raised to the power 4 now coming on to the value of x the value of x when focal date is 4 will not be x it will be x and it will also earn interest for 1 2 3 3 periods or for 3 years so 0 6 raised to the power 3 now coming on to the value of this 2000 the value of 2000 will be 2000 into now it will earn interest for 1 year so 2001 plus 0 0.06 raised to the power 1 coming on to this figure that that is 3000 in case of 3000 the value at t is equals to 4 will be less than 3000 because 3000 is the value when t is 7 and if you are calculating this value 3 years before it will be less than this 3000 so the value of 3000 will be 3000 we need to discount it raised to the power we are calculating the value 3 years before so raised to the power minus 3 now using the concept of this equation of value at focal date which is t is equals to 4 years we have this equation that equation is value of loan is equals to the value of payments so value of loan at focal date that is at t is equals to 0 sorry t is equals to 4 will be we have two loan amounts so the two loan amounts are 2000 and we have to calculate this value at t is equals to 4 so this 2000 will be 2000 earn interest at for one year raised to the power 1 plus another another value of loan is 3000 which is to be calculated at the focal date so 3000 and we are calculating or we are discounting this so raised to the power minus 3 now value of payments we have three payments one payment is of 1000 and this payment is at t is equals to 0 and we need to calculate this value at t is equals to 4 that is at the focal date so it will earn interest for 4 years raised to the power 4 plus now another payment is of rupees x so x will get interest for 3 years 1 plus 0 0.06 raised to the power 3 and the last is the value of x or the payment of rupees x when t is 4 so we need to get the value of this x at the focal date which is t is equals to 4 so this will remain x only at the focal date now to solve this 
here these factors are the compound factor and this factor is this particular factor is known as the discount factor is known as the discount factor so we have here raised to the power minus 3 this is a discount factor and these three are the compound factor sorry uh, this is positive 3 so this is positive 3 now this is my discount factor and these three are my compound factors and for compound factors we have amount at compound interest table and for the discount factor we have present value at compound interest table so we can refer those tables to see the values of these factors now when i refer the table then i got these values the value of this that is i is equals to 0 0.06 when n is 1 is 1 1.06 then the discount factor for this discount factor when i is 6 percent and n is 3 is 0.8396 now for the compound factor that is 6% when n is 4 the value is 1.2624 plus the value for uh, 6% when n is 3 this compound factor is 1.1910 plus x. Now to solve this for x we will get x is equals to that is 2.1910 x is equals to 3376.4 and to solve it for x the value of x is 2.1910 and the value of x that we are getting after solving this equation is 1541.03. It means to discharge these two loan amounts 1541.03 is the value of these two equal payments. It means to discharge these two loan amounts of rupees 2000 due in 3 years and 3000 due in 7 years we are making one payment of 1000 and we have to make equal payments of rupees 1541.03 at the end of one year and at the end of four years to discharge these two loan amounts so this is how we can solve a problem of equation of value and get the solution thank you so much for watching